I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Three of Cups and it's with a Fool. Now, the Three of Cups is the card above the word pass. This card, it can be considered a card of reunions or about some, it could be about some type of reunion. But, um, just keep in mind that it could be a reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting with someone or something that you've been away from for some time. It could be a long time or just, just some time you've been away from this person. Overall, it's considered to be a very happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really, really happy occasion. Now, as with the full card, which is a card that's below the word pass, the full card it's always an indicator of newness in one form or another. Now, in many ways, it does indicate the purity and the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. Well, we know children, they're trusting. And trust actually forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is considered... To be a positive card in the tarot but when you get the full card it is important to remember to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown that's one thing but if you do so without any thought whatsoever it could be a big mistake yeah as you can see in the picture he's Looks like he's about to walk off of a cliff, and, and he is doing so because he's not watching where he's going. And what's below him is all blue water. It looks like it could be the Pacific Ocean. So, Pisces, this recent past energy is telling me that someone came back into your life, or or your person wanted you to, um, they wanted to come back towards you. For a lot of you, they did. And it was a very happy return. The two of you rejoiced. You celebrated. You could have felt like you had a friend. Yeah, a lot of you were dealing with a cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces with this Three of Cups here. Yeah, some of you, you just jumped right on in there when they came back. You took a leap of faith. You, you took a risk. And you just believed that it would, it would work this time. Yeah. If it could have felt like a new beginning because that's what you, that's what the food card can be about. Some type of newness. Or you just wanted a new beginning. Now, for some of you, your person wanted you to just jump right on in there. They wished that you you, you would, and in a lot of you, you did. Because we got the Three of Cups here. You celebrated in a big, beautiful way. You took a leap of faith. And it looks like you were happy. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Queen of Pentacles, and it's with this Page of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is a card that's above the word present. Queen of Pentacles, it can indicate that you could be spending 
time, money, and energy on your home. For some of you, you'll be trying to get it to be more comfortable. And this is actually a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight or maybe some advice, and you'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is also a time period when you can get a lot, a whole lot of things accomplished. Now, when you get the Queen of Pentacles in a reading, and it talks about love and relationships, well, this is actually a very feminine card. It points to strategy, especially for those who are not currently involved with anyone. Because the strategy for love is the stereotypical feminine one meaning don't chase it make yourself available but don't come across as being so desperate to bring someone new into your romantic life because when the time is right that will be made clear to you and you will not have to do backflips just to make something come about so queen of pentacles can be about being upbeat and knowing that you have many things to offer. Now, this Queen of Pentacles is with the Page of Pentacles, which can be a card about boredom in some ways. If you're in a relationship and you get the Queen of Pentacles, it may have lost some of its luster. But it doesn't mean that it has to be the end of the relationship. It does not mean that. But what it does mean is that action and discussion is necessary. So to create change, it's important to be honest about how you're feeling. Yeah, so coming up, Pisces, this Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles, is telling me that even though you took a leap of faith and you jumped right on in, with this person that made a return. Coming up, it's it's indicating that you could be feeling like, like you're kind of over the connection. You, you, you could feel like it's, it's losing some of its luster. And you could be feeling like you just, you're okay with just falling back from this. I mean, it could be temporary because the Queen of Pentacles she falls back. Yeah, she just takes comfort and joy in the ordinary things. You see how she's sitting in her backyard? She's feeding the squirrels, the pets that come by, and she's got her dog sleeping on her, her toes, keeping her feet warm. So for some reason, um, you could start to feel like you're just over this connection. You did jump right on in there. Or, like I said, for those of you who, who who was dealing with someone who wanted you to jump right on in there and celebrate with them, you didn't. And you, you chose to just fall back from this because you were over this person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's, what the challenge is. We've got the Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is with the three of, three of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands, this card can be about anxiety. It's a card above the word challenge. It could be about something burning. So you could feel like you're burdened with something. Keyed up over concerns. But the first and the best step is often to take a deep breath and calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Try to take it one day at a time. One hour at a time if you can do so. Because some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. So get specific on what you're afraid of and try to pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry act actually happening? So... This could also be a time to give your person some breathing space. 
Yeah. This nine of wands, it can mean something is stressful. Something is troubling you with regards to the relationship. Now, it's with the three of wands, which is the card below the word challenge. Now, with the three of wands, um, you could find that things are going much better than you thought. It could be a time when you feel like your ship has finally come in. So, you could be feeling strong with a good reason. You could be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. So, the Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way, even if you don't work outside your home. It does mean that your efforts, they're seen, they're appreciated, and they're well respected. So, if you're in a relationship and you get the Three of Wands, Well, yeah, if you're in a relationship or when it comes to love and relationship questions and you get the Three of Wands, you're likely to be having things go really well. But only if your person is willing to treat you as an equal. And if they're not, it could just be time to move on after you've made your complaints and your position clear. So, the Three of Wands can also be about waiting. So, what this is telling me, Pisces, with this Nine of Wands, clarified by the Three of Wands, is that not only that, not only do you feel like falling back from this connection, your person could be feeling like you're over them, because the Page of Pentacles is here, but it's showing that you could... Um, yeah, you not only are you falling back, you you could build a wall. You they could be feeling like you're building a wall. Because if you look at the nine of wands, um, the card above the word challenge, this lady she's those wands she's built a wall. She's not letting anyone come past her barricade. Um, there's some stress here. You, you're not letting this person, you don't want them to come anywhere near you. That could be how your person is feeling. Because they feel like you've lost interest in them with the Page of Pentacles. For some of you, you're dealing with someone younger than you with this Page of Pentacles here. Because when you hear the word, page in the tarot, that could actually indicate a student, it could indicate youth or immaturity so a lot of you feel like your person is that way but they're still waiting for you, three of wands a card below the word challenge that's an indicator that they're still waiting yes they are they're with you they feel like their ship has finally come in. They are waiting for you to, for you two to get on board. Because the Three of Wands makes a decision to go forward with expansion and growth. And this is what your person wants from you. But it, it's indicated that they're waiting. They're waiting for you to come from behind the wall or just knock the wall down. They feel like you're losing interest. At one point, you jumped right on in there. But they they see you're falling back. And, yeah, you could be stressed out about something that they said or did. You feel like they're on the immature side. Or they just do things that you don't appreciate. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the moon, and it's with justice. Now, the moon card is above the word outcome. You could start to feel psychic and intuitive when you get the moon card more than usual. So, it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but when this card appears, 
it is possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So it's important to go with your gut instincts. And when you get the moon card, if you're waiting on an answer from someone, unfortunately, it could take longer than you would like for it to. When you're in a relationship and you get the moon card, it points to a highly emotional time. Things can become heated or uncomfortable. So, it's important to take a break if you need to. And don't make assumptions and fight fair, fight fairly when you get the moon card in a reading. Now, it's with justice. Justice can deal with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to, rem to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're actually called upon to, to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So when you get justice, if you're questioning whether you and your person are likely to stay together, often the answer is that you'll choose to go your separate ways. On the other hand, if you're single and you get justice in a reading, this is actually a time when commitment may be coming your way very soon. So stay clear about what you want from relationships and you're likely to find it that much sooner. That's if you're single. Just a little side note for any single people watching. So Pisces, the outcome, the moon card, clarified by justice. So yeah, like I said, you're close, you want to close yourself off to this and they feel it, but they're still waiting. This person is still waiting for you with this Three of Wands here. They want this to grow and expand. They want things to keep moving. They want you to get on board with them. But you feel like, um, you can be feeling like this person is, like I said, not on your maturity level. You can feel like there's, they could be the type that, um, with the moon card here, I mean, you might feel like they're secretive or they're holding things back. Now, for a lot of you, because justice is here, you could be waiting on some truth, something, some, some light. You could be waiting on some clarity. You could be waiting on this person to do the right thing. There could be some type of wrong that needs to be made right and you can feel like they're they for some of you you think they, they lie a lot because the moon card can be about lies and deception deceit yeah so it just it's showing that you're you're closing your so you want to close yourself off to this but your person they feel it they feel that you're holding yourself back you're building a wall. At one point, you jumped right on in there. And the two of you celebrated in a really big way. They want you to get back on board. Your person's waiting for you, Pisces. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation and what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. 
take good care. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Yeah. Also, don't forget to keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. And I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. And take care.